Vietnam. Just over 50 years ago, the last American troops withdrew from Vietnam, and today, Vietnam War veterans united to share their experiences and discuss the war's lasting impact. 13 News reporter Andres Rendon spoke with the veterans at that reunion. Andres. Mary, you know, from struggling through PTSD to coming back to protests slamming U.S. involvement in the war, decorated veterans share their stories from their time in the service to what they think of current military situations going on today. November 1st, 1955 through April 30th, 1975, the Vietnam War was an era of loss and destruction, also being marked as the most unpopular war in U.S. history. Today, almost 50 years later, U.S. veterans came together in Tucson to catch up on life after their time in the service. One veteran, Colonel Bob Certain, was commissioned to the Air Force in 1969. He remembers the last years of the war like it was yesterday, especially his last mission, which he almost didn't fly at all. But he did, and it changed his life forever. We had gotten to the target. We opened the bomb bay doors. We were a few seconds away from, making, from the bombs releasing when we were struck by the shrapnel, basically, of a service to air missile that blew up nearby. And it was the day we were supposed to go home. That was a real bummer. This is actual footage of Colonel Certain's crash B-52 from December of 1972. Me that, Luckily, me. Certain ejected himself out of the burning plane, but parachuted into a village where he was taken prisoner. It wasn't until the spring of 1973 that he was able to come home. For 101 days, Certain was held prisoner. After returning home, though, starting in October to April, Certain started to experience stress and anxiety, and for years, it didn't go away. The timing aligns almost perfectly with the months when he was held captive. Certain was struggling with post-traumatic stress. The post-traumatic stress issue was the themes of that final mission. When those themes occurred in modern life, then my deal, my, my choices for how to deal with it were sim thematically similar to what I'd done once upon a time long, long ago. Certain looked to writing to help get his thoughts out. Publishing a book detailing his time in the Air Force to his life after, Certain helped other veterans struggling with PTSD when they returned home. However, support for troops coming back home from the Vietnam War was hard to come by. We came back and the public did not support the war and we were not welcome back like they are today. So that was, that was bad. Looking back at it, I would still do it. I mean, that was my job, and uh, I was fighting for my country. Almost 50 years later, though, Lanzini was welcomed and honored for his time in the war. He was even given a special print of the exact plane he flew. And after seeing events unfold back in the 60s and 70s to what he sees today in the Middle East, Lanzini says keeping peace should always be the mission. You know, things, things get better, but it brings the point that you shouldn't jump into war if the public, if your country, your public is not supporting it because you don't want to go through that again. Colonels Lanzini and Surin and many of the veterans at today's celebration are still in good spirits to not only be recognized for their service, but to be together again in the same room after their time in battle. To learn more about Lanzini and Surin, you can head on down to our website at KOLD.com for more. Live in studio, Andres Rendon, 13 News. Incredible to hear their stories. Thank you, Andres. And sticking